Good morning, everybody. Happy, I think it's Wednesday. Welcome to the video. Today, I am actually practicing for something. I had to get some new sunglasses because these ones make my hat, they do like this and make my hat come up. Anyways, welcome to the video. Today, I am practicing for something new, something out of my comfort zone. Let me not get sunscreen all over my car. So while I was locked away, wasting away in quarantine, if you remember in July, missing my first marathon, I actually signed up for a duathlon. Is my camera lens dirty? <gasps> um, I signed up for a duathlon. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of triathlon, which is swim, bike, run. And a duathlon is just two of those events. So in this one, it'll be run, bike, run so today I'm practicing transitioning from running to biking it's a little itty bitty duathlon it's nothing crazy it's like a two mile run 12 mile bike ride straight into a almost four mile run so nothing crazy in theory I could do it today like with what I've gained so far, I could do it today, but I don't know what it's like to go straight from running, straight into biking, straight into running again. So that's what I'm gonna practice today. So right now I'm going to go run two miles, then I'm gonna come back. Then I'm gonna come back and get straight on my bike. I already prepared it, I got the tires pumped up, so we're good. I'm gonna get straight on the bike, I'm gonna ride 12 miles on the bike, and then maybe, I don't know yet, but I might run like a mile after I get done with the bike ride just to see, bloop, 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 you know, what I can do and how it feels. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. It's actually uh, not that far away. So would have liked to practice sooner, but better late than never. I'm, you know, like I said, it's out of my comfort zone. So enough talking, let's go run these two miles uh, and get that knocked out first. Just crossed over one mile. One more mile to go. Let's go. Whew. All right, I'm trying to hurry up and transition as fast as I can. I am sweating buckets already. Two miles down though, and now, is this right hand? <laughs> Two miles down, so let's get to this bike ride. I, the whole run, I was like, please Lord, just let me make it to the bike. That'll be so much, I am sweating so bad. It's gonna be such a break, or will it be? All right, let's go. Might just have to ditch the gloves uh, on the day of the race. Okay, here we go. still feel great honestly so we're gonna do the one more mile when I was on the bike I was like I don't know maybe I'll just do the run and the bike and maybe is my camera messed up okay, something weird was going on with the camera but yeah when I was on the bike about six miles in I was like maybe I'll just go home after I do the bike ride but I'm gonna do just one mile we can do one more mile we're gonna do a light jog and that'll be that so let's see how we feel Y'all, I have been humbled. Y'all, I'm humble. I'm just gonna say that. 
that was a, a tough little mile. Like my legs definitely felt heavy the first, I would say quarter of a mile. And then I started to, you know, kind of loosen up and pick up after that. But y'all, we just did big old bird. Look, can y'all see that? Hawk. Anywho, got distracted. <laughs> oh, oh. Y'all, we made it through. I've never done that before. Um, that was better than I expected, but I'm sweating. Let me get home. My RX bar is melted, so let me hurry up and get home so I can eat real quick. We will debrief at home. All right, so it is bright out here. I should have worn my sunglasses or a hat or something. I think I'm gonna go get a hat, actually. All right, much better. So it's a few hours later. I ate a bunch of food and I'm actually cooking my dinner right now, but whoo, y'all, like I said earlier, I am very humble. The point of today wasn't to mimic the duathlon just exactly as it is. I just wanted to see how I would feel transitioning from running to biking to running. And it went better than I expected, actually. I thought my legs were gonna feel a lot more tired and um, I thought I was gonna feel a lot more tired than I did, but I felt really good. The running is the hardest. Biking is um, a little bit easier, a little more low impact. So the biking felt like a very nice break. Um, I wasn't necessarily lollygagging on the bike ride. I was trying to push it a little bit, but do have to keep in mind that it is a green way. There are other people around and um, I can't just zoom through there like a mad woman when there are like people teaching their two-year-olds how to ride scooters. So <laughs> have to keep that in mind, but let's look at the stats. So, so the first run, first two miles took me 19 minutes and 34 seconds. Average pace of 9.44. Meh. The the ride, I tried to time it perfectly. It was about almost 12 and a half miles. That took me an hour and two minutes, about 12 miles per hour. Imagine if I could run 12 miles per hour, that would be lit. Yeah, and then the last run. Y'all, when I started running after that bike, after the bike ride, I kind of felt like my legs were heavy. Like I said earlier, my legs were heavy. I felt like I was a little bit wobbly for a little bit, but then eventually it got a little bit easier, but I was I was ready for that one mile to be over quick. So, and the, the actual race, I'm gonna have to do almost four miles after the bike ride. So y'all pray for me. I can't imagine having to run four more miles today. So hopefully I'll get to practice at least one more time. I, it is coming up soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pray about it. Might get last place but that's okay my average pace for the last mile though was a little bit quicker it was nine minutes and 39 seconds so so yeah that was the day just wanted to document this for my records my first time trying a duathlon really stepping out and out of my comfort zone and just seeing what this kind of thing's all about I have no idea what to expect I don't know anything about it I don't know how to I don't have any fancy equipment I just have my road bike and my, my sneakers and we're gonna just do it just wing it with what I have and with the experience that I've built up so far which is not much but I'm excited I think it's gonna be fun things have ramped up this month my marathon is coming up very soon and I have two races coming up actually that are back to back both within seven days of each other and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of traveling to do each race so the first one is coming up in a few days and so I am just oh, so excited so so excited but we'll talk more about that a little bit later let me show y'all the garden update which we haven't talked about the garden in a while so it's my mysterious baby who I don't know what she is but this is what she does when the seasons start to change no matter how much I water her she is starting to turn brown and she will die soon but then she will come back to life so she started getting brown uh beginning of last month and she's slowly uh turning brown again so uh yeah, she'll be out for the season soon. Lavender is doing absolutely fantastic. I just can't get over how stubborn this was and how long it took to grow. I'm very aware that I planted this in a spot that's way too small, but I wish y'all could feel, feel this. It feels like the softest velvet you have ever touched. And she is just so low maintenance. You don't have to water her that much. She just minds her business. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell, that's about to pop in a few days. Focus. All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna focus, but she's gonna pop in a few days. Then I have this one 
pop a few days ago. So I think these are the last two sunflowers of the season. Look how pretty my babies are. So pretty. The rest of them are dead. They are done for the season. I got an aloe plant a couple, maybe like a month ago. I got it from Trader Joe's. It was only like $6. So um, I was like, uh, I can't turn that down. So super healthy. It's been out here. I never have to really water it. I accidentally tipped it over in the car driving home. So this part actually broke off as I was driving it home. But other than that, it is healthy and thriving. Had her for about a month to six weeks. And this, this is the surprise. So as you can see, we've got a nice green leaf just sprouting randomly out of this pot. I actually um, had a bulb of garlic that I bought from Trader Joe's that was sprouting and I was like, oh, it's ruined, whatever. So I was like, I wonder what'll happen if I just throw it in a pot. So I just came out here and threw it in this pot and just buried it a little bit. And this happened, I did that four months ago. And me and Michael were actually talking about, talking about it just randomly like two days ago or three days ago and the very next day after we had been talking about it, it's been four months nothing it has looked this soil has been completely bare no growth no signs of anything happening for four solid months the day after we talk about it this thing sprouts up out of nowhere so so it's only grown maybe a few centimeters but it was like this tall the day after we talked about it and now there's this this other little piece coming out right here so this is about four days old so I will keep y'all posted it could have some garlic <laughs> but I will definitely let y'all know so that is the garden update oh I hate that y'all can't see my eyes all right so that is it I'm gonna sit out here for a few minutes and enjoy the warmth of the sun and this perfect day the weather is in the most perfect phase right now we're starting to get into fall and the temperature is perfect it's like 70 degrees right now and I am living my best life so I, like I said I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy it and then I'm gonna go back inside and finish cooking my dinner hope y'all are enjoying the rest of your summer slash fall and uh staying warm i was talking to my friend who lives in canada today and she said it was below freezing so if you are in below freezing temperatures right now at the end of september i'm going to pray for you and i will see you all very very soon with another video y'all take good care of yourselves bye Ooh.